Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm so excited because I'm here with this phenomenal Orkut. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, bom dia, nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> so, Hello is the new platform, right? And how this platform, how Hello can connect people with brands? How can you give the best experience for the brands and the people? When I uh, think about brands, I think about brands that I love. I love Marvel, I love Disney and Pixar, I love Adidas. And uh, when you think about like life, there are a lot of things that we're passionate about, right? We love services, we like products. And you see how brands fit in in our real life and you can see how that can mirror our online experiences. Brands should amplify and make our social media better and happier and uh, they can easily fit in when they are relevant and when they are targeted correctly. Oh, so nice. How Hello uh, is working to give the best experience for the consumers? With Hello, our goal is to optimize uh, user happiness. If you look at uh, social networks today, they're all about uh, maximizing uh, clicks on advertisers or number of minutes spent because uh, they have to answer for like companies and advertisers and shareholders. Uh, with uh, Hello, our goal is to have a quality of engagement, not number of minutes spent, but like number of minutes spent when you're happy. And uh, we, we truly believe that uh, like brands are a big part of our yes. lives and they can be a great part of our uh, social online experience. If you can compare Orkut and Hello, what are the main differences? Orkut was created in a different era where we were all on uh, desktops and web browsers. Uh, Hello was created for a new generation where we are always on our smartphones. And uh, if you ask me what is like most similar, the most loved feature of Orca.com was communities. And we built the entire experience of Hello around communities. It's all about being able to pursue your passions and uh, connect with people who love the things that you do. What's the big strategy of Hello? To attract people and attract brands and companies? I, I think it's all about providing the best uh, possible experience and when we uh, talk to our users they say that they are happy and they're creating meaningful connections with others online and we already in Brazil have uh, users who traveled across the country to meet each other we have users who moved in together and found romance and we are creating those magical moments again and uh, we count on uh, word of mouth and the experience of the platform itself to draw users. The people who are watching us right now, Orkut has a history here in Brazil, was a very famous social media, right? So for you, the people from Brazil, Brazilians, how how can you value the, the experience, the connection Brazil and Orkut? Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> so uh, it's my second time visiting Brazil. And uh, the first time I came, I spent three weeks and I was able to meet with all like locals and experience the culture myself. And then it made a lot more sense why uh, Orkut.com was so uh, popular here. Because uh, Brazilians, they have such a down-to-earth earth quality to them. They are so kind, welcoming, friendly, <laughs> and thank it, you. It's just like fascinated <laughs> by being surrounded by all these very passionate, uh, nice people. We and love to talk and love to okay. make new relationships, exactly. right? Exactly. You are very social people, and you are so accepting of everyone. And uh, the second thing I noticed was uh, Brazilians are very curious, and they are very open to new technologies, and they're early adopters. And I think those qualities of uh, the culture and the people of Brazil is what uh, they brought them together on Orkut. Do you think we we are uh, we have such a culture, a different culture, if you compare to the other uh, other countries? 
We are I, more I, I, social. I do believe it. You are more social and you are more open and you are more uh, honest and down to earth. So it's, it's easiest to it's easier to attract new users for you, hello, for example. Uh, yes, and that's why uh, Brazil is like the first country we launched in oh, because nice. uh, we think that hello really resonates with uh, the people here. Because Hello is all about uh, kindness, love, togetherness, and community, and these are all values that we cherish on Hello and also uh, in Brazil. What's your big challenge to attract people, new people, with uh, Facebook, Instagram? What's the big challenge for I, you I right now? There is a lot of uh, addiction to social media, and uh, social media usage today brings anxiety, depression, isolation, unhappiness. And we are so addicted, it's almost like drugs, right? So uh, what we need is we need to take a leap of faith and try something new. And uh, our purpose and goal with Hello is very different compared to what other social networks are trying to accomplish. Because we are not about one-to-one -one messaging, we are not about broadcasting live updates, we are not about posting uh, fake superficial uh, <laughs> moments on your feed. We are all about being real, being yourself, and we are all about friendship and connecting people. In the nice. World what do you think for? What do you think about events like Digitalks to promote to the digital marketing and to the digital business? What do you think about events like this? I I love uh, the conferences and events like this bring. Uh, a great community together who are very passionate about entrepreneurship, marketing, uh, technology in general, and in this case for marketing. And uh, you learn and grow so much when you're connected with people who are also passionate about uh, the same things. And it's like such a lovely uh, community where people are able to network and get to know each other and uh, continue those relationships. Okay, so can you invite the people to the hello? You're free for this. If you're not on hello, go to hello.com and download and try the app. I hope to see you on hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're great.